I think it's such an important, important and fitting day to talk about our plan for workers. We've released our plan and we've got lots of, lots of different elements, but I want to highlight two parts of that plan. Siobhan touched on one of them, and it's paid sick leave. In this pandemic, what's been exposed are a lot of the gaps in our system. Problems that have always been there, but were exposed and highlighted by this pandemic. And one of the biggest gaps was when times were tough and people got sick, they could not stay at home because they simply couldn't afford to. For a family that's just making it, just making ends meet, they can't afford to miss a day of work. If a worker has to choose between going into work sick or staying at home and not having any pay, it is an impossible choice to make. It is simply impossible. And so we said at the beginning of this pandemic, we needed to make sure workers had a paid sick leave. And so we fought hard to bring that in. And after months and months of fighting, we brought in a paid sick leave that wasn't working. And so for 22 times, 22 times in this pandemic, over this past 18 months, 22 times in parliament, I stood up and said, we need better access to paid sick leave. We need paid sick leave and it needs to work. 22 times Justin Trudeau said no. 22 times he rejected this most important step to keeping people safe. One of the most important steps that public health experts agreed would have saved lives and can still save lives. And despite demanding this so many times, Mr. Trudeau said no only to say in this campaign that he's promising to get it done. That is the height of cynical politics, to deny something 22 times when it was needed most and then to promise it in the middle of a campaign. That is cynical politics and that shows entirely that Mr. Trudeau is all for show. Would love to campaign on things because the liberal strategy has always been, why deliver it when you can just campaign on it? And we've seen that happen and that hurts you, that hurts people. It hurt people that Mr. Trudeau did not bring in paid sick leave and did not improve access all those times we demanded it. So we want you to know, you can count on us. We believe in this. We believe in lifting up workers. We believe in putting in place federally regulated, 10 federally regulated paid sick days. On top of that, working with provinces and territories to establish a paid sick leave program in every single province and territory for all workers. No one again should ever have to worry about going into work sick or not having enough pay at the end of the month. We will fix this. And the second thing I want to touch on today is the importance of childcare. We've known from before the pandemic that people were making, again, that, that incredibly difficult choice of do I take a job or do I and have to pay for such expensive childcare or do I give up on my career or on my future work and stay at home and take care of the kids? That is a choice that women have had to make before the pandemic and it's only gotten worse since the pandemic. It's been harder to find childcare. It's incredibly expensive. The average cost for many provinces and territories, at least $20,000 a year for a child. That is incredibly expensive and such a huge burden. We know that women were disproportionately impacted by the pandemic. And so our response coming out of this pandemic has to acknowledge those who've been hardest hit. And that's why we are so committed to making sure everyone in this country has access to universal affordable, accessible childcare, and we will continue to fight for that. That is a worker's right. That is something that will help women and that will build a better society.